spectator and theatre director based in Toowoomba here at Empire Theatre. In this episode of The Home Project, which is brought to you by Youth Connect and Toowoomba Regional Council, I'll be showing you how to create your own story using shadow puppetry. This episode was filmed on Guyabal and Jarawa land, and so I pay my respects to the elders, past, present and emerging. For this workshop, you'll need a white bed sheet, a hula hoop, clothes pegs, an empty cereal box, scissors, sticky tape, a marker, chopsticks, a desk lamp, and a chair. The first step is to create your shadow screen. There are heaps of ways you can do this in your own home. The easiest is to find somewhere to safely hang up a bed sheet so that there's space behind and in front of it. Can you think of a place like this in your home? If you can't, I'll show you how to build a small shadow screen using a hula hoop, a bed sheet, and some clothes pegs. To do this, start by laying your hula hoop on the ground and placing the bed sheet on top of it. Next, fold one edge of the bed sheet around a part of the hula hoop, pinch the overlapping fabric together, and peg it in place. Make your way around the whole hula hoop, remembering to keep the sheet tight as you go. Once you've pegged it all the way around, peg any extra hanging parts out of the way. Depending on the size of your bed sheet you're using, you might have some fabric left over. But don't worry, just move it to the side for now because we'll use it later. The next step is to choose what story you want to tell and to start making your puppets. Today, I'm going to tell the story of a ship lost at sea. What story are you thinking of? Maybe you could recreate your favourite movie scene, or maybe your imagination has a story in mind. The options are limitless. But once you've decided on your story, you can create the shadow puppets you need to tell it by drawing the outline of their shapes onto the cardboard from a cereal box, like I am here. Maybe you'll draw the outline of characters or buildings or vehicles. It's up to you. But once you've finished, cut them out and sticky tape the chopsticks onto the back of your puppets, like this. Now that your shadow screen and puppets are ready to go, the next step is to set up your light. We'll be working in low light very soon, so before you start, it's important to clear the space and floor of all your equipment and to make sure there's nothing that you or anyone else can trip on or run into. And once you've done that, lean your shadow screen up against a chair so that it's sitting upright. Then grab your desk lamp and position it behind your screen and point it towards it. Lastly, turn on your desk lamp and switch off the lights or make the room as dark as you can. Now that all your tools are set up, you can start to play with your story. I've decided to use my extra fabric from earlier to create the waves of the ocean. What do you think you could use your extra fabric for? Once you've decided, use your puppets to experiment with what happens when you hold them closer to the screen or closer to your desk lamp. Have a look at how you can make your puppets move and interact so you can best tell your story. And that's it. You've created a story using shadow puppetry. Now you can share it with your friends or family or even with us here at The Home Project by sharing your creation on social media using the hashtag HomeProjectTR. If you'd like to learn more about storytelling, you can head to Empire Theatre's website and check out our Youth Arts page for all the classes we offer in Toowoomba and in Dolby. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Just search for Empire Youth Arts. Thanks for watching.